Sejak tercetusnya pandemik, pembelian secara dalam talian meningkat mendadak. Tinjauan runcit oleh Facebook and dan Bain and Company mendedahkan bahawa sebanyak 22 juta pengguna di Malaysia adalah pengguna digital dan saluran dalam talian kini memainkan peranan 4 kali lebih besar daripada saluran luar talian. Pengguna bukan sahaja menghabiskan 80% masa mereka dalam talian sebelum membuat keputusan pembelian. Mereka membeli belah merentasi sebanyak 7 laman sesawang sebelum membuat keputusan untuk membeli. Dan ia berbanding purata Asia Tenggara sebanyak 78%. All Some Fulfillment, penyedia penyelesaian penyempurnaan Penggunaan e-dagang rentas sempadan baru-baru ini memperkenalkan penyelesaian Get Today's Order Today untuk memperkasakan lagi pengguna platform uh, itu. Dan bagi membincangkan lebih lanjut, kita bersama dengan pengasas Alsam iaitu Eng Yi Ying. Uh, Yi Ying, uh, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning. Uh, the world since the pandemic has been uh, uh, in a major spike in online spending and your company certainly benefit greatly from this trend. Share with us about Alsam and what it offers uh, as an e-commerce fulfillment solutions company. Yeah, thank you very much. Good morning, uh, and thank you very much for having Awesome. So my name is Ying. I'm the founder and CEO for Awesome Fulfillment. So uh, Awesome is actually a fulfillment platform for e-commerce sellers to actually ship from 1,000 locations in Malaysia and 50 cities. So uh, we actually have integrated with popular e-commerce platform. And what we do is that we actually help online sellers to store the inventory at the top cities, and now buyers can actually walk in to take away or receive the orders at same days uh, through delivery. And also, Ying, you introduced quick commerce to Malaysians. Awesome uh, has also come up with a, a get to this order to this solution. Why is this important for e-commerce businesses to adopt quick commerce, and how will it further propel for a seamless transaction and shopping? Yeah, so quick commerce, I think uh, uh, this definitely is actually the future uh, of e-commerce. I think uh, why is it so is because with the growth of e-commerce, buying and selling online is already very convenient. So I think it's time to actually go for the speed. So uh, if we were actually to ask any buyers um, that purchase online, if the parcel can be received, you know, same day or actually three to five days. So for sure, uh, all the buyers will actually go for like same day delivery. So uh, we believe that, you know, for uh, this quick commerce is actually the future and the future is actually now yeah and also Ying, how will it benefit the local buyers and sellers given that some sellers are first time user uh, for uh, of e-commerce uh, if you look at uh, msm is in malaysia uh, you know uh, since the pandemic they are you know the first time user of e-commerce and all that Yes, uh, for e-commerce uh, sellers, I think uh, first of all, the buyers because of the COVID-19, uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, the buyers were actually uh, grounded and with limited uh, access uh, to actually to to walk around. So buyer will be very happy if they manage to receive the order very quickly. So uh, now they actually can choose how fast they actually can receive the orders and literally as fast as they want. So when the buyers are actually happy, the sellers are actually also very happy as the buyers will actually buy again and then bring more sales. So I think. Uh, uh, another benefit uh, that definitely is real beneficial for the business uh, is actually about the business cash flow because for e-commerce transaction it can now complete it faster now so compared to previous like three to five days of delivery now it's actually one day and the cash actually can be back to the online uh, businesses bank very quickly so this is definitely helpful for the business as well uh, as awesome started out as the cross-border order fulfillment company share on whether overseas merchants would be able to benefit from this solution as well and how Yes, uh, definitely. So uh, also also come with a cross-border fulfillment technology to support overseas sellers, uh, mainly to bring their brand uh, to Southeast Asia without any barrier. So overseas sellers will just need to ship their inventory to awesome overseas hub, and then we will take care about everything else, including like cross-border shipments, custom clearance, uh, distributions of inventory, e-commerce orders, automated uh, fulfillment, and also return and exchange. I want to get your point of view a little bit uh, about the e-commerce, especially in Malaysia, given that all the data has shown that how uh, the basically the expansion is uh, the rapid expansion is happening right now. But in your point of view, uh, as the uh, key industry player would say, but how do you see the trajectory and the the projection for the next five years? Say. So uh, I would like to further understand in terms of um, the the growth in terms of awesome or yes. actually in terms of uh, I mean in terms of the industry first. Yeah, so uh, in terms of the industry, so uh, e-commerce, as mentioned, uh, is already um, become the very mature and convenience. So we actually can see that the transitions from uh, e-commerce to actually a quick commerce, which means everyone's trying to get uh, every all this is faster. The average delivery time in Southeast Asia uh, for the e-commerce is actually 3.8 days. And then, like, for example, with the introductions of Awesome, we actually uh, managed to get today's all this.
to today's meeting, the online sellers, uh, uh, the online buyers, they actually managed to uh, place order in the morning and then getting in the afternoon. Yeah. And also, Yiying, e-commerce is here to stay and is here to expand vastly. Share with us on Awesome's uh, growth tra uh, trajectory and whether the get uh, uh, whether the get today's order today's solution will be uh, made available in states outside of Klang Valley. Uh, yes, uh, definitely. So uh, first of all, having like 1,000 locations in Malaysia is uh, just a start. So we are expecting to grow at least uh, 10 times uh, this year to bring the coverage uh, across Malaysia. So uh, we actually have uh, also so far launched in Penang as well. And uh, we are bringing the solutions to the entire Malaysia, uh, starting with uh, Johor, Kelantan, Sabah and Sarawak. What is the competition like for Alsem uh, in Malaysia and, and, and regionally, I would say? Yes, uh, so originally, where, so uh, for example, e-commerce platform, they come with their in-house uh, fulfillment solutions whereby online solutions can actually uh, opt in as well. And in terms of uh, cost, how do you um, ensure that the cost is, you know, uh, uh, as low as possible? Because, you know, given that uh, SMEs and uh, MSMEs are very concerned and very uh, particular about the cost and all that. Yes, uh, correct. So, uh, uh, for awesome uh, fulfillment side technologies, um, we're actually using a decentralized approach whereby we actually don't build a big centralized warehouses, whereby we also partner with uh, business owners with extra spaces uh, so that we actually manage to transform the extra spaces as a minimal cost. So it's actually pay as you go, whereby it's at least 50% uh, cost effective uh, in the industry. All right, Yi Ying, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Itu tadi Ying yang merupakan Eng Ying yang merupakan ketua pegawai eksekutif dan juga pengasas kepada Awesome Fulfillment kita bincangkan tentang bagaimanakah perkembangan e-commerce ataupun e-dagang ini membuka peluang perniagaan yang meluas dan juga khasnya untuk Awesome sendiri yang menjalankan penyediaan penyelesaian penyempurnaan e-dagang rentas sempadan ini maksud kalau anda beli-beli membeli membeli belah dalam talian itu inilah prosesnya yang dilakukan oleh Awesome untuk memastikan seamless lancar penghantaran dan sebagainya okey itu antara perbincangannya